Hi guys, it's Stephanie. I'm going to read Psalm 136 to 140. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Oh, give thanks to the God of gods, for his mercy endures forever. Oh, give thanks to the Lord of lords, for his mercy endures forever. To him who alone does great wonders, for his mercy endures forever. To him who by wisdom made the heavens, for his mercy endures forever. To him who laid out the earth above the waters, for his mercy endures forever. To him who made great lights, for his mercy endures forever. The sun to rule by day, for his mercy endures forever. The moon and stars to rule by night, for his mercy endures forever. To him who struck Egypt in their firstborn, for his mercy endures forever. And brought out Israel from among the from among them, for his mercy endures forever. With a strong hand and with an outstretched arm, for his mercy endures forever. To him who divided the Red Sea in two, for his mercy endures forever. And made Israel pass through the midst of it, for his mercy endures forever. But overthrew Pharaoh and his army in the Red Sea, for his mercy endures forever. To him who led his people through the wilderness, for his mercy endures forever. To him who struck down great kings, for his mercy endures forever. And slew famous kings, for his mercy endures forever. Sihon, king of the Amorites, for his mercy endures forever. And Og, king of Bashan, for his mercy endures forever. And gave their land as a heritage, for his mercy endures forever. A heritage to Israel his servant, for his mercy endures forever. Who remembered us in our low, lowly state, for his mercy endures forever. And rescued us from our enemies, for his mercy endures forever. Who gives food to all flesh, for his mercy endures forever. O oh, give thanks to the God of heaven, for his mercy endures forever. By the rivers of Babylon, there we sat down, ye, we wept, yea, we wept. When we remembered Zion, we hung our harps upon the willows in the midst of it. For there those who carried us away captive asked for of us a song, and those who plundered us requested mirth, saying, Sing us one of the songs of Zion. How shall we sing the Lord's song in a foreign land? If I forget you, O Jerusalem, let my right hand forget its skill. If I do not remember you, let my tongue cling to the roof of my mouth. If I do not exalt Jerusalem above my chief joy, remember, O Lord, against the sons of Edom. And the day of Jerusalem, who said, Raise it, raise it to its very foundation. O daughter of Babylon, who are to be destroyed, happy the one who repays you as you have served us. Happy the one who takes and dashes your little ones against the rock. I praise you with my whole heart. Before the gods, I will sing praises to you. I will worship toward your holy temple and praise your name. For your loving kindness and your truth. For you have magnified your word above all your name. Above all your name. In the day when I cried out, you answered me. And made my, me bold with the strength in my soul. All the kings of the earth shall praise you, O Lord. When they hear the words of your mouth, yes, they shall sing of the ways of the Lord. For great is the glory of the Lord. Though the Lord is on high, yet he regards the lowly, but the proud he knows from afar. Though I walk in the midst of trouble, you will revive me. You will stretch out your hand against the wrath of my, my enemies, and your right hand will save me. The Lord will perfect that which concerns me. Your mercy, O Lord, endures forever. Do not forsake the works of your hands. O oh Lord, you have searched me and known me. You know my sitting down and my rising up. 
You understand my thought afar off. You comprehend my path and my lying down, are acquainted with all my ways. For there is not a word on my tongue, but behold, O Lord, you know it altogether. You have hedged me behind and before, and laid your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is high, I cannot attain it. Where can I go from your spirit? Or where can I flee from your presence? If I ascend into heaven, you are there. If I take my bed in, make my bed in hell, behold, you are there. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the utter, uttermost parts of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me, and your right hand shall hold me. If I say, surely the darkness shall fall on me, even the night shall be light about me. Indeed, the darkness shall not hide from you. But the night shines as the day. The darkness and the light are both alike to you. For you formed my inward parts. You covered me in my mother's womb. I will praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are your works, and that my soul knows very well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in secret and skillfully wrought in the lowest parts of the earth. Your eyes saw my substance, being yet unformed, and in your book they all were written. The days fashioned for me, when as yet there was none of them. How precious also are your thoughts to me, O God! How great is the sum of them! If I should count them, they would be more in number than the sand. When I awake, I am still with you. O oh, that you would slay the wicked, O God! Depart from me, therefore, you bloodthirsty men. For they speak against you wickedly. Your enemies take your name in vain. I do not hate them, O Lord. You, O Lord, I do not hate them, O Lord, who hate you. And do I, do I not hate them, O Lord, who hate you? And do I not loathe those who rise up against you? I hate them with perfect hatred. I count them my enemies. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my anxieties, and see if there is any wicked way in me, and lead me in the way everlasting. Deliver me, O Lord, from evil men. Preserve me from violent men who, pl who plan evil things in their hearts. They continually gather together for war. They sharpen their tongues like a serpent, and the poison of asps is under their lips. Selah. Keep me, O Lord, from the hands of the wicked. Preserve me from violent men who have pur purpose to make me my steps stumble. The proud have hidden a snare for me and cords. They have spread a net by the wayside. They have set traps for me. Selah. I said to the Lord, You are my God. Hear the voice of my supplications, O Lord. O God, the Lord, the strength of my salvation. You have covered my head in the day of battle. Do not grant, O Lord, the desire of the wicked. Do not further the wicked scheme, lest they be exalted. Selah. As for the head of those who surround me, let the evil of their lips cover them. Let burning coals fall upon them. Let them be cast into the fire, into deep pits that they rise not up again. Let not the slanderer be established in the earth. Let evil hunt the violent man to overthrow him. I know that the Lord will maintain the cause of the afflicted and justice for the poor. Surely the righteous shall give thanks to your name. The upright shall dwell in your presence.